Well, I've decided. Oh, I said a bunch of real, really short. Um, I, I vote in Virginia to be absentee ballot, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I was going to vote for the Party for Socialism and uh, Liberation, but it's not on the ballot in Virginia. So then I said, oh, let me do third party. The next third party, let me do the Green Party. Then I started thinking, you know, and the strategy for doing the Green Party really was just that they would have enough cachet so that in future years, you know, they might be a force. And, and then they, they, got, they got the brother Baraka in, in there, whatever have you. And to tell you the truth, I'm still wavering, I might do it, but at this particular point, uh, when, in the voting process, let me just explain this real quick. Uh, the most important thing in the voting process is that you register to vote. And think about it, like if you had your whole building registered to vote, and that district, you know, uh, controls certain things, then the, the policies would have to come to you because the entire building, the entire neighborhood is registered to vote. So that's how they, they, they gauge it. They, they wouldn't go to a, a neighborhood that nobody's registered to vote. We know there's no way to, to, to get their vote because they're not registered to vote. So the most important part, part of the process is not voting, it's actually registering to vote. And also by registering to vote, then you, um, well, then you, you serve on jury duty so you can see how the system works from the inside. You might get some brothers off that have been hoodwinked, whatever the deal is. Uh, okay. So my whole thing about voting really is the registration is the most important thing. So I'm registered to vote, um, and I voted uh, a, a few a few months ago in, in, in Virginia because I was there. So you know, it's like I'm active, but I'm really thinking now, to, at least just for this season, I'm not going to vote at all, which is actually a vote also. I know you don't you say, oh, your vote is wasted, oh, blah 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 blah. No, it's not. Not really. If you if 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 for instance. Um, if, if, if only 25% of the electorate votes, like in Ronald Reagan's case, then it says something. People adjust to that. That means that 75% of the people say like, hey, we don't want to take this, or if, if they go to a third party, whatever have you. I'm just thinking right now, I'd rather say this whole system, unless you smash the whole system, which is what I've been thinking about for the last few weeks or well, months, the this, this, this system has to be smashed. And by but voting third party is not going to smash the system. So, so that's it. I, I, I'm still wavering. I probably won't vote, even though it's absolutely valid. Uh, but we'll see what happens when it gets, gets well, not get close. I got to vote pretty soon. I got to get on the computer and see. Maybe I've missed a deadline before I know. Um, anyway, so that's that. There's something else more interesting happening. There's been a call. I, I'll, I'll try to get the uh, post the uh, URL. Uh, there's been a call that on December 5th is the anniversary of. Uh, basically, the Montgomery boy, uh, uh, bus boycott, you know, Martin Luther King led, you know, Southern Christian leadership, well, the Christians led this thing down south. And that's kicked off, this, it lasted for almost a year, and that kicked off this whole thing, you know, Rosa Parks sitting on the bus, you know, sitting, uh, whatever it is. That kicked off this whole civil rights movement. I'm not really into civil rights that much, I'm into human rights, but be that as it may. So there's been a call that this December um, uh, 5th, which is a Monday, I believe, that I, I think is every Monday, or maybe it's from December 5th, every on, uh, that basically boycott things that, uh, or institutions or situations that um, do harm to, uh, to the downtrodden. Basically, that's what it is. And now, the, the, the caveat on this is that, boy, you could, remember Montgomery boycott, what ha actually happened, they had the Christians doing it, but uh, I think there was even a movie that explained this, I read this someplace too. But, you know, Martin Luther King, he could play pool. So he, he went to the, for lack of a better, he was with the saints. He got the saints on his side, I mean, the church people. So he went to the sinners, you know, pool hall, started talking to them. Because if he didn't have the support of the entire community, the saints and the sinners, then it wasn't going to work. You got that? It wasn't going to work. So the, the, the trick of this, instead of just preachers or whoever was calling for this thing, you have to reach out to the entire community the saints, the sinners, the the the, the winos, the you know, the whoever, you know, and and all of it. His was to me. His was beautiful about it. I I, I do a thing called I'm um, enamored with this thing called the jump theory. Jump theories comes from the Messiah warriors. You know, Messiah warriors they jump up and down. You know, at this particular ceremony, and then the, the woman picks them or whatever it is because they're the best jump. I don't know. It takes stamina to jump up and down. But if you jump when you hit the ground. It shakes the earth. So the jump theory, in my as in my uh, mix of it, is that 
If you do these actions all the time, you're jumping up and down, but I'm saying you're, you're, you're exercising your personal code of I'm not going to buy here because they do this. I'm not going to do, no matter what the, the thing is, I'm not going to buy here, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that. Your own personal code. If you exercise this own personal code, for as long as this thing takes, it starts on December 5th, then you go, you just go. Every, every moment you become conscious of, you become conscious of what you're spending your money on, what you're spending your time on, what you are spending, here we go, your energy on. That's the thing. We're all made of energy. What you're spending your energy on. So if you can spend a good vibe energy to bring a sister or a brother into to, to this thing, not, not recruiting them, just they see you, what they don't see, that's energy like that. So so that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I've, I've also called for one more thing, um, and that is every, the, the, the Monday before, uh, election day. We're about a month away from election day in the United States. So the Monday before, you start, for those who want to, you start every Monday, the Monday before the election day, you start this consciousness, this this this, this jump theory, this shaking of the of the system, of the earth, this, this shaking that's going to topple this system. You start on that Monday and you do it every Monday until the fifth hits, which is about a month from then. And so you sort of in practice race. So when the fifth hits, you're already primed, like priming the pump. So those are my thoughts. Uh, this has been uh, me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect.